broadcasting live. It's America's longest running talk show on computers. It's Computer America, bringing you the biggest names in technology with guest interviews, new products, and your emails. Listen live at ComputerAmerica.com on any device around the world. Email the show at live at ComputerAmerica.com or find us on social media. Be sure to check out our website for contests, giveaways, show notes, live video stream, podcasts, and more. You're listening to Computer America. Hello and welcome everyone into the Computer America show and today on the program we continue our CES 2022 coverage with uh, you know, with a great company here all about uh, sustainability and bringing technology and the internet to more people which has you know always been uh, kind of a focus here on the show uh, you know every once in a while we'll have a new company on to tell us about the dangers of e-waste and how uh, how our modern lifestyles are affecting you know, not just uh, our communities but really the entire planet. So uh, a really innovative company, and I like what their product uh, has set out to do, and I like how they've developed it. Really looking forward to talking to June and Sam, the CEO and CFO of Pentaform. If you want to find out more, pentaform.co.uk. But of course, we'll have a link to it in the show notes and on our website right there for you to find it. But let's go ahead, bring them on and get started talking. Uh, Sam, June, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? Thank you. We're going for two years. I know it's our second day. Uh, we're loving Vegas so far. That's perfect. And and of course, uh, it, it, is this both of your guys' first CES, or have you been there before? We, uh, we, this is, I, I visited CES about two years ago, but uh, this is the first time. It's been a dream uh, of mine to work on my products here. Uh, so yeah, we're based in Europe. Yeah, and and I'm I'm glad that you're able to make the flight over. It's uh, it's certainly a different kind of show. Uh, we weren't able to make it this year, but every year that we do, it's it's always a lot of fun. So uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just get started talking about uh, what it is that Pentaform has brought to CES. And uh, for anyone out there watching the video portion, we're going to have their website up that shows a lot of the you know kind of product video and things like that. But uh, for everyone out there just listening, uh, please and let's go ahead and start with June. Um, what is uh, Pentaform showing at CES this year? Oh. You, um, how does uh, you, you, you can't hear anything, right? So, you wanna... All right. Uh, if you like me right. to repeat the question, I can definitely do that. Yeah, 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 please. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, okay, so uh, I was just saying that uh, I wanted you to kind of start with what Pentaform has brought to CES this year to kind of show off. Yeah, absolutely. So we brought. Uh, uh, See it right there. Uh, real quick, June, if you could get closer to the microphone, uh, we're it, it's not really picking you up. So. Can you hear? Can you hear us? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I think that's actually the microphone that you're holding. Can you? Oh, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. That what you're holding right now is is the microphone. So. Just saying. <laughs> so my coffee. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So what we brought this year is the um, the abacus is a uh, is a computer fully built onto a keyboard, and the die is one of the only few um, uh, Windows PC that has a GPIO as well as it runs um, it's an Atom board. It has a two gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of, uh, and four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, as an option, and it has like two gigabytes of uh, EMS storage. Yeah, and it it, it really seems like. Uh, well, and I was just about to say that the, uh, you know, kind of the use case, where do you see this product, uh, you know, kind of really going? Because this is a very low cost, affordable, all in one kind of solution. Uh, who did you make this product for? Yeah, so I, I really love the computers. I don't know if you can take that space. The vision was really about making it affordable. Uh, real, and, and, and sorry to actually cut you off right there in the middle, Sam. Sam, uh, it seems like the microphone, you're away from the microphone as well. So, um, oh, right. Can you use both there? Yeah, sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, sure. So it really, it really started because I love 
in, in the 1980s, there was a computer called the Sinclair Spectrum. It was meant to be the most affordable PC, easy to use, robust. His Sinclair, Clyde Sinclair's dream was um, every, everyone in the European and English household would have one. And, it would, and the thing that was expensive, really, is the screen. Even till today, monitors are really more than half the price of the computer itself. Mm. So let's chuck that away because I, I think 95% of the research of people have some form of monitors at home or any form of display, right? So we really focus on how do we make a product that is so is as, as simple as possible that it works with your everyday displays at home. So we've got a HDMI, a USB-C for it as well. The, the PC bit itself actually comes apart, as you can see right here. So you could wirelessly use it from the sofa because that's what we all want to do, right? And it really, maybe in Europe uh, and America, computers are somewhat affordable now. But we're, now we're really focusing in Southeast Asia. In Indonesia, where I'm from, only about 30% or not even of people own computers. And loads of them are using used PCs from uh, probably something that's 10 years old. Uh, like, I don't know, even some people are still using a Pentium 4 there. And they're charging about 60, 70 pounds for a Pentium 4. So we thought we could build something that is not, a, that is, it's not, I wouldn't say it's not powerful, but it's equivalent to a Chromebook. It's great for everyday use. And, and it's just at 99 pounds, $130. I think um, a lot of people at came that you can't really say no to that, right? It's, full, it's fully fledged. It's a Windows 10. You can upgrade to Windows 11. You install Linux on it. It flies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and and really for for such an affordable price and uh, getting people the first uh, you know kind of hands on experience with a PC and with a computer, uh, do you see this as a mission to get uh, you know maybe more people connected? Obviously, who didn't have uh, you know access to uh, I, I saw somewhere say digital economies, or is this about getting young kids in, uh, interested yeah. in technology in Southeast Asia? Uh, who who is uh, you know furthermore who's your you know market? Yeah, so at the start, we really want I we really wanted it to be a low income community thing. We want one one computer per household, for example. So it's just we, somewhat nowadays everything we do is online, and we have to print, we have to scan things. You know, everything we work is to do with computers, and it's only gonna come to the Southeast Asian countries or even the African countries, India as well. People need to code. You can't code on a phone. I mean, you can, but it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would say low-income communities is our market. But it turns out that schools are very interested because students are, are doing uh, a bit of coding, uh, a bit of tinkering, and our product has a 40 pin GPIO, just like a Raspberry Pi as well. Gotcha. Yeah. And, you know, um, uh, my background is, you know, uh, I kind of went to school for um, for environmental sciences. So I'm actually, you know, kind of keenly aware of the environment and the impact technology has. Uh, why was it so important to make this from recycled plastics? And, and let me just repeat the question real quick. Why, why was it so important to make this very efficient and from recycled plastics? Um, you know, uh, why are you concerned with, with the environment? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, once Indonesia is quite big on e-waste, uh, I've seen, a, I can show you pictures, there's a, it's mountains and mountains of e-waste out there, and I was shocked. And the thing is, making the product of recycled ABS is not even hard. The problem is, the market for products are so sleek that if you have recycled ABS, it's too brittle. What we did was actually just made it five millimeters thick, so yeah, maybe it's slightly bulky, it's really, really durable. It's stronger than your TV remote, and it will last you. And because we're, we're making products that are robust and designed to last. And electricity-wise, I mean, it's the same thing. We could make it efficient. Why not? If you, we don't need all the processing power. Loads of people are not rendering. Loads of people are not playing games on it. Why are we running a big engine? If it's a car, why do we have a six-liter car? A V8 when you're doing an Uber job. All you need is price, really. So this is that reliable price that you take around every day. 
No, and 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 so you you have this product. You've hit a price point that uh, you know for a fully integrated PC. And honestly, the specs I can tell that you guys are really into computers as well because you know this thing is not. Um, you know, we've seen some very very uh, low cost systems, and they are next to useless for what most people really want to use them for. Uh, you can see all the specs right here. I mean, you know, quad core. Uh, use Intel. You know, use Intel products uh, throughout. I mean, uh, it, it, it's very. Uh, capable, I think, for a lot of different applications, especially for beginners. So, uh, I, my question is, um, obviously, this is for people in Southeast Asia, but uh, if people want to buy these or get them, are you going to partner with uh, nonprofits? Are you going to sell them directly to consumers? Uh, how are you going to get this into people's hands? Uh, yeah. uh, actually, so, I think and see, uh, we actually have both kind of consumers coming to us. So we have charities from Saru, um, Kazakhstan, India, who wants to partner up with us and provide like a low cost solution to help help people get online. Uh, and this offers the digital economy. We also have like people who are really interested, like geeks who are really interested about the product. Who got like who want to get hands on it. So we're going to both launch on Kickstarter. But if there's any charities or anyone who wants to partner up with us we're more than happy to talk to them and see what we can do and to help four billion people around the world get online and and in an environmentally sustainable way that doesn't harm the planet yeah perfect so and, and of course uh with that i think um uh, and and i was just saying that i think that uh I, that's about all the time that we have for the interview i think you 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 know both of you i know that you know the limitations of doing an interview at the booth is uh, pretty pretty hard but i think both of you did an amazing job and everyone if you want to find out more pentaform.co.uk we'll have a link for it and if you want to look it up yourself it's the abacus underscore basic and of course that's the computer system itself um yeah available for pre-order up on your site but both of you um, uh, June, Sam, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us about this. Uh, you're you're going to help a lot of people, and and it, it's a great mission. I think you're doing an amazing. Like, like if nothing else, the form factor it's nothing I've ever seen before, and it looks amazing. Like this is this is something else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and and so uh, we're going to go ahead and end that there. But everyone, once again, computeramerica.com will have a link in the show notes. So everyone, uh, so thank you so much. Have a good one, and uh, we'll wrap it up there.